Powerlifting is a strength sport. You want to use the maximum lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift, and attempt to use max weight for each bench. I'm going to be conducting this documentary all about the pros of powerlifting and how it can just very much benefit you. I will be conducting the interview on my friend Leo Cordova. He's a senior in high school and has been to Papel and Visit South all four years of his life. Hi, my name is Leo Cordova. I'm a first year powerlifter and today I'm going to be answering questions that some people might be concerned about. How has powerlifting affected you physically? Uh, physically, uh, I remember my first year lifting. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't proper with my form or anything, so it has like messed me up physically. Like I remember hurting my back pretty bad and I was out of lifting for like maybe a few weeks because of that injury. So there are things you gotta work on before actually doing heavy weights like that. As you can see, powerlifting can be a very dangerous sport. Almost a million kids every year go to the ER just for powerlifting run. Oh, only a couple hundred of those people are actually fatal to powerlifting. But nowadays we have belts and we have chalk and we have safety providers watching them at all time just in case if anything goes bad. Why do you do powerlifting and how does it help you? I do powerlifting because I want to get stronger in life. I want to be physically fit to be able to do those things. And why does it help me? It, uh, it really helps with like anger purposes. You know, putting all my energy into something, like, physically, it really helps me out with that. What other sports have you done, and how has it helped you in powerlifting? Um, I did wrestling last year, and powerlifting helped because it was easier for me to throw around people. Like, because of powerlifting, I was, it, I was able to throw around kids that weighed the same as me. Like, it wasn't that hard, so it helped out with that. As you can see, powerlifting does help with wrestling. Now, this video is not Leo wrestling, there you go. but some there other kids wrestling. But powerlifting can right help you with other sports. It. Either helping lift stuff for uh, wrestling with another player or anything else, or football being blind and attacking other people. Use your head. Use your head. It really helps in all Use your head. sports. That's why it can be a really good sport for kids to play. Because not only does it help them gain weight in powerlifting, it can lift more weights. It can also help in other sports. So it's a two for as you can see, this is what powerlifting competitions are like at high schools. Of course, our season just started a little, little bit less than a week ago, so no competitions have been held. Right now, we are just practicing. But as you can see, this kid has a safety belt around his, around his waist. Usually, kids have to wear that when they lift more than what they weigh, just so they don't break their back or hurt their back. And as you can see, they have three spotters, two on the side and one right behind them. Those are just in case if he can't get all the way up, he will say something and then they'll lift it up for him, or if he falls back, they'll grab it for him. Powerlifting, and then you have a judge right in front of you, seeing how much you weigh, make sure that the spotters aren't helping you lift any of the weights, and a competition can last all day long. And of course, the competition consists of a bench, a squat, and a deadlift, and all three. As you can see, he's not doing the heaviest weights. That is because it's better to just start out as a warm up and then work your way up to the heavier weights. The point scale when competing goes on how much weight you put on. If you put on a lot of weight, then you will add up the total and out, all add up into a rigmet sheet. Of course, and it also depends on how much you weigh. If you weigh 145 and you start lifting twice more than your weight, then you're going to get more of the points because it's more work that you're doing and they can tell that you're improving on that. As you can see, on these next two pictures, you have of different weight scales for each, every class. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. They all have their own different weight scale and they put their names on people who can bench the most, weigh the most, with different weight scale. Sadly, with this documentary, I was not able to get to talk to any of the coaches about this because they always said they were busy or they could never make it. But from my take from this documentary and powerlifting, I believe powerlifting is one of the best things that kids can do and help them. It all just depends on how safe they are doing it and how well they are doing it. It is a great improvement on the body and can really help lose fat weight and gain more muscle. A lot of kids seem to enjoy it. I've never seen one kid throughout this whole time I've been talking to them say they did not enjoy it. Therefore, I believe powerlifting is a great sport for kids to do and a great way to get involved in the school activity. You can see they have a very strong brotherhood and they always help each other out from what I've seen from this past week. They have 
summer training practices for the, in the summer to help with the freshmen. And it's always nice to ha see new people come in and start lifting more. This is my documentary about powerlifting. I want to say thank you to New York Times, and I also want to say thank you to weightlifting.com for helping me provide information about this. I also want to say thank you to Leo Cordova for helping me out with interviewing him. And this is my documentary about how powerlifting can really help you.